today. Today we're looking at Android NPC Endoscope. And if you don't know what Endoscope is, basically it's a small camera that you can kind of poke down into a hole, into a cylinder engine, or drop down a slot. This one comes with some adapters, lets you kind of grab some, some things. If you dropped a bolt down into something, that's what this is. But most of the times, you're gonna use it for, you know, you drop your ring down the sink, you can poke it down there, see down the pipe and check it out. Or a lot of people use these for uh, in, inspecting uh, pistons on engines. And that's kind of one of the other things I've used this for. Really nice little device, very simple. Uh, you can see here on the back, gives some specs. That's Android Endoscope. Uh, it has an adapter for uh, uh, US, uh, micro, S, micro USB or USB uh, B. Uh, 5.5, 7-millimeter, 8-millimeter camera. We've got the 7-millimeter here. Uh, and it does 640 by 40 or 1280 by 720, so 720p. And you can see it's IP67, so you can dip it in water. So if you want to go down a pipe and look for your, say you dropped your ring down a pipe, that's what this is for. So it's one meter, and you can get all different sizes. Uh, five meters, about 15 foot. Really don't need that. I just need something short. So I got the smaller one. It comes with a little manual. And the manual is pretty simple. It basically gives you some links to some Android software. So if you want some recording software on your cell phone, or if you want uh, some PC software, I think there's a little link to that on here too. So pretty simple and fairly self-explanatory. And of course, it comes with the camera. You can see here I got, uh, this one's about three foot, it's uh, one meter. It has the little adapter here. Let's you go from uh, micro USB to no USB B, so normal USB to a little, little, little USB. And of course, the camera. And here's the USB end, and here's the camera end. And you can see here, if you look at it, you can see the little yellow guys. These are the LED lights, and they are quite bright. And in the middle of the cable, you have a little on-off button and a little volume control here for the brightness of the lights. And you can make it turn them all the way off or turn them all the way up or anywhere in between. Really nice. I had ones that did not have this. It was either on or off. And this one's nice that it has that. And then you get some little adapters. You get a little mirror. If you look at this, you can see here's a little mirror. I think I still got the plastic on here. Uh, but basically what you do is you screw this on. so it won't fall off and if say you want to poke this down into something you want to see what's behind you so you know the camera's pointing this way but you can't see what's behind it and you can't really turn it all the way around so you poke it down and the mirror lets you see what's kind of behind you so it's kind of nice and of course it screws on so it doesn't fall off and then it comes with a little collar and two little metal pieces and this guy here is a little hook so you can put this on your camera and you go down and you find whatever you dropped and pick it up or if it's magnetic it comes with a little magnet and that kind of works by i'll try doing this uh, while i'm on the camera here uh, basically you poke it in here pull it nice and tight and then you can kind of you know reach down grab your ring from the sink or whatever you drop say you drop the bolt or something like that you can do that that works really well and that's basically what you get and we're gonna do a little video here i'm gonna plug it into the pc we'll do a little record so you can kind of see the quality of it okay so we have it plugged into the laptop and this is basic plug and play. If you have a Windows PC, and you can see here the camera's kind of kind of working. Got it kind of upside down right now, but you can see how dirty my keyboard is. Very nice, actually a really decent quality. Somewhat fast, not too bad. But like I said, if you want to zoom into things, you know, say you want to go down down into this can here, you can turn on the LEDs. I'll show you here the LEDs. Turn all the way on. Get some more light. We want to zoom down in a can and see what's down inside there. You can do that. Or you just turn them off and have it normal. So very, very nice. Very simple. And like I said, it comes with some software. You can download that for your phone or Windows. I'm just going to use a little Windows PC for this one because it's nice and simple. I might use it on my cell phone too. But it's actually pretty decent quality. You can see getting up close. Very nice. So anyway, that is the Android PC Endoscope. What up?